Today's math lesson is focusing on three-digit addition. Today, we will be discussing when we make new groups and why we've made those new groups. Let's start with a quick review problem. In this problem, you will see 265 plus 172. As we know, when we have a three-digit number, that means we have three different place values. We have the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. Now when we start adding with three digits, we always start in the ones place. We do this because sometimes we make a new group. And if we start in the hundreds or the tens, we will have to go back sometimes and erase to account for that new group. So let's start over on this side in the ones place. In the ones, we have five plus two more. So five, six, seven. Seven is a one digit number. We did not make a new 10 with seven. So I do not need to put anything at the top in the tens place. Let's go next door and let's add the tens. I always add starting with the larger number. So let's start with seven and use touch points to add on. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, if I have 13 tens, I can see that I've made a new hundred. So I'm going to put my new hundred over in my hundreds place and take my three tens down to the bottom into the tens place. Now the last row that we need to add is the hundreds. Now I cannot forget to add my new hundred that I made from the tens. So I have two, three, four, four hundreds. In this case, I did not make a new thousand. I only made a new hundred. Let me put our hundred that we made back up top. Let's try one more review problem before getting into today's content. 325 plus 596. Just like last time, I'm going to start on the right in the ones place. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 ones, did I make a new 10? Yes, I did. So I put my one one and my new 10 in the tens column. Let's move to the tens. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 tens, which means I made a new 100. And last in the hundreds place, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 921. I did not make a new thousand in this problem. For today's lesson, we're going to practice three digit addition. But as an added step, we are going to decide with the questions below, did I make a new 10? Did I make a new 100? Did I make a new thousand? And we're going to answer those questions by writing yes or no. So let's start in the ones place as always. I have eight plus six. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 ones. Did I make a new 10? Yes, I did. So let's write yes on the line. I made a new 10 and I put it up here at the top. If I had to put a number at the top, I'm going to write yes. Let's go to the tens column. I have seven plus four plus one. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 tens, did I make a new hundred? Yes, I did. So let's write yes for the hundreds. And last, let's add the hundreds place. Three plus two plus one. Don't forget that new hundred at the top. Three, four, five, six. Six hundreds. Did I make a new thousand if I only had six hundreds? No, I did not. So the first step, I solve the problem and then I answered the questions. Some of you may want to answer the questions after solving. Some of you, just like I did, 
might want to do it each step at a time. Both ways are absolutely fine, but we are going to look for those new groups up at the top. Oh, this one looks a little different now. As you can see, this problem is written horizontally. I don't know about you, but I usually like to look at my problem up and down vertically. So I'm going to write it again, making sure I line up my numbers. 178 plus 263. I just like writing them up and down. It just makes it easier for me to see and to add. Let's start in the ones place. 8 plus 3. 8, 9, 10, 11. Did I make a new 10? Yes, I did. Now let's add the 10s. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh, 14. I made a new 100. 2, 3, 4. 441. Now let's answer our questions on the side. Did I make a new 10? Yes, I did. Did I make a new 100? Yes, I did. Did I make a 1,000? No, I did not. So in this problem, just like the last one, I needed a new 10, I needed a new 100, but I did not make a new 1,000. Problem number three. Oh, this is another one, it's side to side. I like to make it up and down. So let's write it again. I'm also going to put my bigger number on the top. That's just a personal preference. We know that when we add, it doesn't matter which number goes on the top or which number goes on the bottom. I just like the way that it looks when the bigger number's on the top. So 927 plus 73. Okay, my numbers are nice and lined up. I didn't put anything under the nine since there's no hundreds at 73. Let's add it up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten ones. Did I make a new ten? Yes, I did. Let's go to the tens place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, ten tens. That's a new hundred. And in the hundreds place, I have nine hundreds plus one hundred. Hmm, that's ten hundreds. Wait a minute, ten hundreds? That gives me one thousand. So in this question, did I make a new thousand? Yes, I did, because I had ten hundreds, which gives me a thousand. And the last example problem together today. This one is already vertical, so it makes it nice and easy for me. Zero plus zero is zero. Did I make a new 10? No, I did not. Eight tens plus two tens? Hmm, eight, nine, 10. That's 10 tens. I know that 10 tens gives me a new 100. So yes, I got a new 100. And let's check in the hundreds place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's another one with ten hundreds. Ten hundreds gives me one thousand. So I did get a new thousand. Follow your teacher's directions on how to practice these problems and which homework pages to work on this evening.